So I was raised Christian, and a lot of people were. You know, there's the whole, the earth was created in seven days by God, and the whole scientist thing with the Big Bang. It's a lot. I certainly don't understand how any of this stuff came to be. I'm wondering, how do you think about that sort of stuff without losing your mind? Like, are scientists all out of their minds now? When I think about it, I go crazy. I get sick to my stomach trying to understand how things work. And I get that I, I haven't studied everything. <laughs> I don't know exactly what all of the scientists know or think they know. Sometimes things seem far-fetched. How do you try to picture the beginning of time when we weren't there? B beginning of time. Or how big the universe is, for example. How do you think about those things without going crazy? Like, the universe is limitless, it is expanding. What does that mean? Like, what is the universe? And then there's all these things like black holes and dark matter because there are things that we can't account for. I am a big fan of simple happy things. I don't know, are all scientists depressed? You start learning too much, it's harder to be happy with the world that we live in, right? I think I'm going to enjoy things like toothless and the simple things in life. Say religion is an easy way out, I guess, you know, just explaining the unexplained in ways that make us happy. Even if that were really what it truly were, just an explanation to make people happy, I'd be okay with that. Yeah, I'd definitely be completely happy with being wrong. Of being happy. If, if you still do that, is that a thing? It used to be a thing. If you still do that, please. Why? <laughs>